Hey guys, it's me, Vixton23, with some Team XPL gameplay, and this will most likely be the last primary weapon specific Team Random Weapon gameplay. We can start trying some more crazy stuff, and actually you're going to be spectating Demide's point of view on this gameplay, because over all the games we played, he managed to pull off the better game than me and the time, so I figured that you guys would want to see that. Just a quick reminder to anyone that didn't see yesterday's video, uh, it didn't get that many views, but just a quick update, I'm running for King of the Web, I'm donating 150% of what I win to charity so everything I win and 50% of that amount from my own money so if we can pick up first place that would be a thousand one thousand five hundred dollars second place it would be seven hundred and fifty dollars and third place three hundred and seventy five dollars so you can help me with that by voting at the link in the description ten times a day and now on to the topic for the video so I was doing some thinking and I was thinking about how a lot of what we do these days is age restricted you know especially with video games and there's the whole argument you know what's the point of that is it useful and you know personally I think that it is strange how age which is literally a measure of existence factors so much into this and it's irrespective of other things you know such as intelligence and integrity and just general sanity that get drawn into these things and you know, it's just apparent in every case that, and, and you know, it's the same with every system, and that's what I'm going to get onto, but, you know, irrelevant of age, you'll have different people with different levels of maturity and sanity and integrity and decision-making skills, and I just think to put kind of an age cap on things, you know, isn't great, but... The thing is, there are so many people that systems like this have to be developed to keep things in order, just because there are simply so many people. You know, the same can be said about the exam examination system, the same can be said about age ratings, laws, all that kind of stuff, and basically general rules have to be applied to people who in themselves aren't very general at all, and it just posed the question to me, what if, and all of this arises from the fact that there are too many people to judge on a person-by-person -person basis, what if there were one there was a 100th of the people in the world. So for every 100 people that are currently in the world, if there was only one person, how different would things be? You know, would everything be handled on a person-to-person, case-to-case basis? You know, just even more abstractly thinking about, you know, cities, you know, would, would there be cities or would there still be people living kind of spread across the land? And that's just kind of the idea that I'm opening up. And, you know, I've not got too much to say about it, but I thought some people might find it interesting. As just a topic of thought and discussion in the comment section, what if there weren't as many people as there were now? Would society be advanced as advanced as it is technologically? You know, because there are a lot of people, a lot gets discovered. There are a lot of in-depth fields of, you know, um, knowledge. And without as many people, would that be the way it is? But anyway, that was the thought I thought I would share with you guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave some comments, and go and vote for me at King of the Web in the link of the description. This outro will also take you to other games.